Let's talk about different types of value propositions that companies can have to create relationships with their customers. There are three buckets, broadly speaking, that we can categorize companies into. Best product, total customer solution, or system lock-in. When it comes to best product, that can mean one of two things. Focusing on having the lowest cost, and that would be perceived to some customers as the best product, or it could be the most differentiated, most unique product sold at a premium price. That's another type of best product. So these companies are very focused on the product, and that is the way that they have a relationship with the customer, either being the cheapest or being the most differentiated. Then we have total customer solutions. This is where a business and its management team is focused on the full experience of its customers. They have a complete set of products and services, which means they can provide a lot of things in just one place. So really the focus here is on customer service and customer experience. Then there's system lock-in. This is typically an exclusive channel that draws customers in and maybe has third parties that also complement that value within that exclusive channel. So let's give examples of each of the three. When it comes to best product, we can easily think of Walmart as being the lowest cost example, and perhaps Sony as being a super differentiated or premium product. Then under total customer solutions, you could have any number of large financial institutions. Think of a firm like Bank of America. BOA offers a very broad range of personal and business banking solutions as well as investment products through its affiliation with Merrill Lynch, and wealth and estate planning, as well as private banking solutions for high net worth retail clients. This is very much a total customer solution strategy for financial needs specifically. And for system lock-in, a good example would be Amazon, where they have their exclusive sales channel, but they also have many, many third parties that sell and add value to that exclusive channel, which in turn creates an unprecedented network effect. When analyzing a company, it's important to consider how management is looking to differentiate its offerings and how that might inform competitive advantage or not. Please note, these competitive position categories come from Hax's Delta model. CFI has other courses that cover this framework in considerably more detail. This was intended as more of an introduction an overview to the competitive position categories.